Okay, so what we're going to do here is add a new user of Salesforce into your organization. So in the top right hand corner, you'll click the gear icon and set up. That will open up in a new page and on the left hand side in the quick find box, if you search for users, then scroll right down to the bottom users and double click on that. That will take you to a page which will show you all of the users you already have added in. If you click new user, then you just have to fill in the information. So you have to put in the first name and the last name. That will automatically fill an alias as well of M. Joan. This is what they use when Salesforce can't show you the full name in certain reports. Then with email, you have to put that in as well. We've got a few different ones here. Make sure that it's unique because it will fill in a username. And if someone else has that Salesforce username, you won't be able to do it. Then click the role that they're going to be employed in. And then for the profile, you have to click a certain one. For this, it's just a standard user, but they could obviously be a system admin or just read only. Then when you have filled that out, you can change certain things like the language and put their address in as well. Obviously, they can generate a new password once you click save. If you've got plenty to do and you've got a few more, you can click save and new. But this time, we're just going to click save. There you can see it's got them here as a new user. If you click verify, that will go through the verification procedure as well. And that's how you set up a new user.